Hey guys, so just wanted to give you an update on what I've been doing all week, which is writing profiles for my fixtures. Um, I'm using this uh, Avalite's um, personality builder to do that. And I prefer their D4 profiles over R20s. So I've been enjoying writing a bunch of profiles for fixtures I have. Um, they did have profiles, but I'm very, um, I don't want to say strict, but I'm very strict on what I want to um, program into a profile. Uh, for instance, right now I'm working on the effects attribute for this fixture, and I have over 50 sub-attributes um, under my effects attribute. So that's kind of crazy, um, but necessary for me. Anyways, um, Avalite calls the sub-attributes functions. Um, if you've not used Personality Builder, it's actually a pretty decent uh, piece of software. It's not very advanced. The user interface is kind of blah. It's very old school looking but it gets the job done and as you can see I am just about done with this uh, 20 channel fixture it's a moving head but I have all the colors programmed and the dimmer the speed the pan and I was lucky enough that the victory 3 uh, takes d4 fixture profiles as well as our 20s so I can use either, and most of the pre-built fixtures in the Victory are R20s, um, but there are a lot of D4s on there as well, so either or. Um, I actually do have a lot of pre-built fixtures that I don't need to write, write profiles for, like simple uh, LED PARs, but for my moving heads, especially my no-name brand moving heads, they don't offer profiles, so I actually have to physically go through the fixture, each channel, one by one, look at the values, 0 through 255, write down what each value does, and then create my own profiles. So that's what I'm doing here. Anyways, I appreciate you guys for following at theatrically, at theatrically Jerry. If you haven't already, you can like and subscribe below. Um, I will be releasing two more parts to the Victory 3 by Code uh, Light Console that's coming up. And I also have a lot of requests from people that want to see how you program things with Victory 3. So I might be releasing a program video where I show you just the basics of how you program everything and uh, that'll be later on this week if not next week because I've been very busy between this and work but I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned